60 second review, extended review, remember. Now airing on Netflix, this is a adaptation of a manga, of an anime, and eh, the trailer gave me a creepy vibe, but man, I remember watching the anime and when it flipped to the school. That shit was creepy in the several animes where shit happens in the school and they when they fucking flip, it flips. And it's just nothing with the 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 the, the, the thriller level, the creepy level wasn't not there. It it just wasn't. Now I will say some of the killings were interesting. So a lot of them in a sense of uh, somebody gets picked up and they're being slammed into the fucking wall. But all you see is their body hitting the fucking wall. You don't see what has them. So it's, it's a lot of that for the first part. Then we get into, okay, this is who the fuck is doing this. Which is kind of like, what? That's who's doing this? And this is like a little fucking girl and shit. And they're kind of like, you know, at least it looks like it like this. So it's kind of like, the fuck? But then, the killer does its thing. Which you can hear in my voice, and then I'm like, eh? I mean, it's just, the creepy moments that, that are good for horror, and yeah, I may be Americanizing it, but I'm not, because I've watched plenty of Asian horror, and it's fucking good, and it's just was like this, no, the anime was fucking good, the manga was fucking good, this just wasn't fucking good, and I, I think I'm, I'm tired of fucking trying to like, I don't want to even explain some shit that wasn't fucking good. Now our main character, we are the one that we're really following during this entire thing. Now, her portrayal, I was completely fine with. Completely. And even some of the other characters, like their their characters, their personality types are really strong with what I recall in the anime and shit. Things like kind of over. Sometimes you have to change a lot to make it make sense. And this was something about this one that just that shit just didn't click. Really didn't. Um, I'm one of them people that's like, look, everything can't be adapted. Everything can't be live action. If you're looking for. Uh, some Asian horror that's good, that's like really good, this is not it, something that you're trying to pass the time on, I'm trying to watch everything else, because honestly February is a slow ass month for Netflix and everybody else, so yeah, if you want to like chill on some time, go for it, remember it's in the movie I'm trying to remember, actually I'm not even going to remember remember <laughs> probably after I finish this podcast I'm going to forget to talk about this movie and move on so yeah remember now streaming on Netflix is something you can watch but you'll probably forget about it relatively soon so I'll just keep it in general 60 second review extended you know what I realized? I had a this entire three or four minutes. I don't even think I told you what the fuck the movie was about because I was so caught up in the fact that the movie just wasn't fucking good as it should have been. So, very quickly, what the movie's about that you shouldn't even go and watch on Netflix. <laughs> Essentially, some high schoolers keep reliving the same day over and over, and it's the day they all get killed by this spirit is what we'll call her that is haunting them haunting the school haunting 
it, it, it's, it, it's, we've seen this already. We've seen this in Death Day. We've seen this in several different forms of fashion. We've seen this. It was just better as an anime and better as a manga. So, yeah. Still skip it. 